How's it going guys? We are back with another video here. And you know, as usual, it's kind of a tradition. I have a Division 1 title pack to show you guys. I want another one. Just keep stockpiling my collectibles. Always hoping for a carbon collectible because I mean, that's, you know, the end result. And maybe you can get a decent little card. So that's, that's what I was really hoping for. So there it is. It was a little, you know, it was a, a pretty nice little run here. Division 1 title, we'll take it. I win the game. He did quit. 6-2 to two final. Unopened packs, one Division 1 title reward pack. I think you guys know what these look like, and I definitely do at this point. I've won 17, so you know, it's been a really good year for me so far. As we get a goal collectible, unfortunately, and Charlie McAvoy. So that was just a little too bad, but in the end, it's all right. I mean, we'll still take the goal collectible no matter what. Here's a nice little drop pass for the easy wrist shot goal. Mike Medano, again, I think might be my best card uh, at forward at least. And uh, yeah, I mean, Sackick. To me, he's whatever at this point. It, it could be because he's on the second line, he's not getting as much action, but yeah, for sure, he's, he's up there. And here's a nice little goal there for Bobby Clark, guys. Bobby Clark is really heating up. I will show you guys, you know, that later in the video. I mean, it's absolutely turning out to be a really nice card for me, so I'm really, really enjoying it. Absolute snipe right there by him. So as we move on to the next clip here, you know, we, we get it into the zone, look for that wrister. You just make the defenseman keep moving. He just couldn't catch up. Mike... Medano yet again just absolute great shot and uh, we put it in the back of the net Four to three here look at his back skate into the zone You know he's just he's getting very flustered by it And that really turns into a goal because he just I backed off the defense Sackick walked right into the slot easy easy wrist shot for him Just too easy Joe Sackick is just not gonna miss from there He just isn't he really is not going to if he does well, you know, he might be sick that day because <laughs> he's too good and here's this nice little backhand forehand around the net I know, obviously, it's a little cheesy, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes, and, uh, I mean, I don't know, it was kinda like the game's over, might as well just try to have some fun, and, uh, 10 to 5 is that score. So here we go, another Huck game, and again, guys, this is why I tell you, Ron Hextall, Halloween edition, absolutely fantastic, and absolutely funny sometimes, watch this save, he stacks the pads and covers, just absolute unbelievable goaltending, and here's a nice little ECHL clip, look at this play from Green to Teal on my team, unbelievable play, Teal did not actually deflect that in, but yeah, I mean, it was a nice little play there. And now, guys, a quick little update on Bobby Clark, he's been doing fantastic for me, look at this, 32 goals in 44 games played, keep this in mind, guys, the first six games, I used him third pair, right D, he had a one point, and I think it was a goal, I think it was a goal, so pretty much, I mean, if you take those six games away, 38 games played at forward and 31 goals scored and uh, 15 assists. I mean, so th this guy's been phenomenal. 47 points in essentially 38 games played. So this card has been an absolute tank and it really turned out to be a surprise for me in, in all seriousness. I really didn't think this card was going to be as good as turning out to be. Everybody would be saying, you know, he's best on defense, but for me, he's actually really working at the second line right wing position. So, yeah, him, Kovalchuk, and Sack are having a lot of success. I mean, he's playing with a lot, of, obviously, a lot of great players as well, but still, I mean, it's turning out to be a very pleasant surprise, and I'm happy to actually keep this car on my team. I really just don't see a reason to get rid of him, that's for sure. So, that's where Bobby Clark stands for me at this point. So, let's move on to the next thing I want to show you guys. So you guys probably noticed that I have more coins, so I actually turned a lot, uh, I turned a card into a lot of profit. I was on the market today doing the 59th minute method, I'm sure you guys know that method. It's a famous, famous old method that's been, you know, dates back probably to like NHL 13, maybe even before then. So, as you guys can see, I had this Crosby. It didn't actually sell for that, unfortunately, but I bought this Crosby for 699k buy now so i was stunned when i saw it pop up i bought it immediately i figured that had to be some kind of deal it just absolutely had to be some kind of deal so i made no mistake about it i bought it no matter what because even if there's no way it can be you know way less than 699k i mean this card is bu2 cp2 and it's a good card overall i mean there'd just be no way this card was worth less than 700k just no way so i knew i was making my coins back no matter what and then I was pleasantly surprised to see I had a trade with two minutes remaining. That was Kovalchuk, Dowdy, Blake Wheeler, and Austin Matthews. So, in the end, I was very happy to sell these cards for what I did. Kovalchuk sold for 300, Dowdy for 320. I put him up for Wheeler. I probably could have got a little more for it, but I kind of just wanted to get rid of these guys. So in the end, I basically turned out like maybe like 250k in profit. So I was very happy with that. 
And uh, yeah, that's what I mean, guys. The 59th minute is it's a nice little method. I'm sure you again, you guys really know. I really don't have to explain it. Obviously, you know, you're at the 59th minute and you try to buy cards for cheap and then throw them back up if people make a mistake. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, I, I don't really know how much better to explain it than that. I mean, again, I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with it. But um, yeah, I was feeling really good. But then uh, last night also, guys, I was looking at the Legend cards and there was a card that I really wanted. I made a lot of offers for it. And this is a Chris Pronger. So I saw the Chris Pronger up for 1.7 million. So I said, you know what? I don't really want to spend all those coins on it. It was just crazy talk. So I ended up offering the guy around 1.4 to 1.5 mil in value. I offered to McDavid, the Dowdy, I have Frady I sent in there, Hall, Primetime. And I was really hoping this guy accepted it, but it's just unfortunate that he did not accept my offer. So now I believe it got sold. The, the, the card was up for 12 hours. I woke up. The 12 hours are definitely not expired, and it was purchased, and I was only 2 up, 2.6, and 2.7, which I'm definitely not going to buy, unfortunately. So, man, if you guys have a pronger or know someone has a pronger, I definitely would want to buy it. Around 1.5 mil is what I'd buy it for. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like, guys. Subscribe if you guys are new here, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video.